I'm gonna be completely truthful and honest about our move to the Philippines. So the initial transition was fun, but then after Christmas, the energy kind of drops off a kind of tiny bit. Our family were going home. We're no longer in vacation mode. It's now, wow, okay, this is our home now. I kind of made friends. I made friends, guys. If I'm honest, you know, I've made these friends, but they're not my friends from back home. I miss my parents. I miss my family. I miss having them so close by. Oh my god guys, it is so hot today. When you all told me about a Manila summer, I don't know why I didn't believe you guys. It gets hot. This is the, actually the first ever summer I've spent here in the Philippines and it is so hot. Oh my god. Okay guys, I'm just on the way now to pick up a few bits for the Airbnb property because we've got an engineer there right now and he's missing some parts. Oh my, this honestly like in property and getting things sorted for a property it takes up like 50% of my time now. I'm not even joking. Uh, anyway, later on in today's video, I'm really excited because I'm gonna go and meet a friend of mine, uh, also a vlogger here in the Philippines, who I have not seen in like, I don't know, it must be like four years. So it was 2019 the last time I seen them. And today we're gonna go, we're gonna have lunch, we're gonna catch up straight after this. I'm heading to High Street to meet them. I'm really excited to see them because, mainly because they have recently moved here full time. So you may already know who it is. They've been a travel vlogger in the Philippines for maybe like four or five years or so. Very similar situation to myself. Also married to a Filipina. Guys, comment below, can you guess who it is? Also from Europe, also has blonde hair. <laughs> And, and they're also going through something really similar to Kim and I right now, as in they're just buying a property here, they have a property here that they've just invested in, and they're just going through the whole renovation process. So it's gonna be good to catch up with them. Anyway, I need to hurry up, because Kim's gonna shout at me if I don't get this part quick. Thank you. Hey, Onyx. Wow, nice haircut, buddy. Oh, that's a piece for the uh, thing that the guy needs. Wow, guys. I'm going to be day fitted. Guys, the unit is coming on really well. Oh, God, that's terrible lighting. We are so close to this unit being finished. Have we shown them the kitchen? I can't remember what we've shown you guys, but I'm going to give you a little look into the kitchen. Now we have some lighting. Look at those shelves, guys. This is going to be a coffee area. And look at the walls now. Can you see the walls? We line washed the whole place. We just have one more wall to do, we which to is really this size. Because yeah. the cleaners are coming next week, but everything needs to be completely, yes. all the walls need to be done. Because if we run out of paint, yeah. we need time to buy more. Show me that table. Let's get their opinion. Okay, so I really like this. What do you think about this. this table, guys? It's like little stone pieces within a cement table, or there's that one. I like that, but I think I it's a do. very safe option. I really like this, but I think it's so common. I think everyone would go for a marble top, yeah. whereas I've never really seen a design like this before. And it kind really of funky. Like, and I like stones. Yes. So with the little stone imprint, it gives it that kind of vibe that we're going for yes. instead of the basic marble, which is so done. Yeah, I so, get that. Yeah, I, I think I want to go for it. Okay. Actually, I've made the decision. Okay, we're that. going for it. And then guys, just real quick before Kim and I have to shoot out, because I've got a meeting soon. Meet the friend. Um, the bed has been delivered. So literally, guys, we just have to get it cleaned. Oh, build the bed, buy the table, insert the TV, Pick this wall, put it on Airbnb. But there's like things that pop up, like for example, this wire here is sticking out, so we've just had the internet installed. These are things that you don't think about. Yeah. So now we have to come up with a new way to hide the wires. I've just been talking to our contractors, maybe we add a fake wall, all these little additional stuff that I didn't really include in the It's a learning curve. But, you know, I want it to look flush. Curves and poles are now off, but yeah, we're 100% we're getting there. It looks really good. Yes. Really, really good. Right. Interesting because, guys, the friend who I'm going to go and meet soon is currently renovating a home here in the Philippines. Uh, him and his wife have just purchased somewhere, so I can do with getting a few tips from him. As well as also the whole transition, like he's kind of a bit ahead of me in terms of transitioning to the Philippines. So I want to pick his brains today and, you know, learn a little bit more about the Philippines and how he's managed to integrate into the culture because I can always learn new things. So yeah, that's on my to do this set. Anyway, Kim's left me. Gotta go guys. Got a busy day.
Thank you, Kuya. I got helmet hair. It's not good. Good job, I brought a cap. <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going, by the way. He just sent me a pin to this location, but I've never been to this restaurant. It's called St. Louis. Into Kuala guys. I have no idea where it is. Sandalit. I'll catch up with you guys in a minute. Let me just find where I am because I'm, I'm actually late. Sandalit. Okay, I went into the wrong building. Okay, where was I? So, we haven't seen this friend of ours for four years, guys, when we were last in Cebu. Pre-kids, Kim and I went to a big vlogger meetup and we met so many cool people there. There was George and Lucy. About, there was about 20 different vloggers there and these two were on this. So, I'm gonna go get some coffee, get some lunch and I'll catch up with you guys soon. Okay, guys, I'm here right now with my good friend. What's up, guys? <laughs> It's been four years, guys. We just had a good catch up. Martin got some lunch. Thanks again for the lunch. Oh, you're time. welcome, man. Always a good time. I actually need to catch up with you because so Martin's moved here now, like full time. I need your biggest tips, man. Uh, we've just moved here, right? You've, you've you've lived here for well, how long have you been on and off in the Philippines? Well, I've been on and off Philippines for the last four years, but now I've lived here permanently for four months. Hey, okay, what's your best tips? Number one tips for moving here, for like integrating into the culture. Ooh, ooh, that's a very good question. Straight on the spot. So I would say number one is like go out with friends, you know, go yeah. out network. Number two would be I'm learning Tagalog, so like take some couple of classes with that okay. just to integrate yourself in the culture. I mean, you just got to speak to people, man, like because yeah. it's a different culture. So I mean, you're good at that already, yeah. you know, but that's what's working for me. Trying to network a lot. Trying to establish myself, you know, from coming from traveling all over the world, permanently having a base. Uh -huh. There's a lot of opportunities that comes with it, but you gotta let people know that you are here. So yeah, that's a really good, that's a good know? point, man. Netflix. I found that I actually just started, even off camera, I just started jujitsu for that reason because I was like, kind of need something where I'm gonna be able to meet new people yeah. and yeah. Just get yourself out there. Because you go from like having so many friends in like one country to like there's no one yeah. here. Yeah. Did you find that yeah. as well? Absolutely. Yeah. So I'm trying to network with as much people as possible and create opportunities. Yeah. That's what it's all about, man. That's why we're here today. <laughs> man, thank you very much. Oh, are we good? Guys, check out Martin on YouTube. Absolute legend. Good catch up with you, it, man. Hey. Good stuff. We'll stay in touch. We'll I'll be back in the vlogs, guys. Yes. <laughs> soon. <laughs> we'll do like a full Ave Kim yep. big, big yep. thing soon. Yeah, Definitely. Man. Love that. Right. Thank you, man. All Thanks right. for the lunch. Yeah, likewise. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> Okay, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm gonna be completely truthful and honest about our move to the Philippines. And I'm gonna just lay it all on the table and just explain to you guys everything that we've gone through, the whole transition that we've had since moving here, and the truth on what it's been like for me, a foreigner, in moving to the Philippines. Though, guys, if you've followed this journey, you will know that in December of 2022, Kim, my wife, and our two kids, and myself, we moved our whole life over to Manila. That in itself was probably the biggest thing that I've ever done. Like the biggest challenge, the biggest change in scenery. Guys, let me just put it into perspective for you. I have lived my whole life in this tiny town in the UK. Like I'm fortunate enough that I did get some time to travel with work and just with Kim before we had kids. But I have always had this home base, this network of the same friends that I grew up with, the same people surrounding me, my parents close by. I've always had this like support bubble, right? So for me and the family to completely burst that bubble, jump out and run all the way across the world to the Philippines is kind of a big deal. And I feel like having lived here for four and a half months, <gasps> coming up to five months, wait, December, January, February, March, April, <gasps> we've lived here for five months now. So having lived here for five whole months, I feel like I can kind of now really reveal what it's been like adjusting to the Philippines. And maybe you're watching this, maybe you're thinking, you wanna move here. Maybe we meet a lot of subscribers, we speak to a lot of subscribers in the comments, on Instagram, who we meet in the street, who may be on vacation here from the US or wherever, and they're considering moving out here and buying a home. I feel like this video is gonna be really educational for you. And 
in terms of if you are considering moving here to the Philippines. So, to jump right in, guys. Okay, initial thoughts like moving to the Philippines, I'm not gonna lie, we just kinda went for it. Kim and I are very impulsive, and I just got it in my head. I was like, let's move to the Philippines. Let's just do it, and we did. So since we moved to the Philippines, this is something I have never opened up about fully on the channel. I think today, it's time for me to be completely truthful and honest with you guys about what it's been like adjusting to life here in the Philippines. And guys, trust me, it's not been easy. So the initial transition was fun. You know, we were surrounded by Kim's family. It was Christmas. Everyone was having such a good time. But then after Christmas, the energy kind of drops off a kind of tiny bit. And what we found is we weren't living in this holiday mode anymore. You know, people were leaving Manila. Our family were going home. Kim's family weren't off for Christmas anymore, so they have to go back to work, and we're no longer in vacation mode. It's now, wow, okay, this is our home now. You know, we gotta really find our feet and go the whole year here. You know, this is like new territory for us. Going into the new year was completely new territory. So, the Philippines as a whole, I've said this before in the vlog, is one of my favorite places ever to visit. The people are amazing, the food is amazing, the culture is amazing, I love everything about it. Most people speak English as well, so in terms of transitioning from the UK, it is kind of easy that you guys speak English, that really, really helps me. Obviously, I'm learning Filipino as well, I'm learning Tagalog, so it kind of helps a little bit that I can use that when I'm out and about to get by. But most of the time I have Kim there anyway, so that really helps. Most people, like friends and family back home, one of the main questions that my friends and family back home always ask is, is it a culture shock? Because guys, they've never been to the Philippines. They don't know what this place is like. So I would say it's not really a culture shock because I find like where we live in BGC, it's really westernized. Like they have supermarkets with all the stuff that we would get back home. So I'm really, if I'm honest, I'm not missing any home comforts. I'm not really missing any foods. I think the food here is really good. I enjoy the food here. If I want to get Western food, I can get it. There's literally an Italian down the road. I can just go get Italian, I can get Chinese, I can get whatever I want. The Grand Hyatt over the road does the best Indian I've ever had. So there's food everywhere. I'm spoiled for choice for food. The one thing out of everything that I have struggled most with, I would say, is leaving behind friends and family. Guys, what you've got to remember, as I said earlier, I had so many friends and family back home in the UK. I would see them quite often. And then moving here, that is literally just completely stopped. Like, my best friend is back at home. And I haven't seen her since moving here. So that's been a big thing. We would, like, hang out all the time. And just leaving friends and not really having people around to... Guys, you know what it's like. You know when you meet up with your best friend and you just have those belly laughs and you just laugh at the most ridiculous things? I'm kind of missing that right now. My wife is amazing. Me and Kim do have those belly laughs, but it's kind of a different belly laugh. You know what I mean? There's certain laughs that you can have with your wife, your, your loved one, that you don't quite have with friends. Does that make sense? So I'm missing that. Um, I've said this before in a recent video. I recently joined a jujitsu class purely just so I could get out and meet new people, learn a new skill, and just integrate great with the culture. I got the best advice before I moved here from my uncle who moved to Australia when he was like 18 years old and he said to me you have to live in that environment. You have to get out there. Don't just sit in and be a recluse. You need to get amongst it. You need to meet people and you need to get out there. And that's what I've done. That has really helped. I've made friends at this jujitsu class. I love all the guys there. So guys, if you're interested in joining jujitsu, by the way, check them out on Instagram. They're amazing. Uh, Coach Mark, tell him I said hi. He's incredible. And I feel like they just really brought me in, took me under their wing. And it's not just the jujitsu that I've done with them. I've actually met them outside of jujitsu as well. We've gone for drinks, we've been out together. So I kind of made friends. I made friends, guys. <laughs> I've made friends, um, but I do, if I'm honest, you know, I've made these friends, but they're not my friends from back home. You know, there's people that you grow up with that you have this connection to, you know, you've been through the same stuff, right? So I kind of do miss that. And obviously my family, I miss my parents. I miss my family. I miss having them so close by. Big reveal though, my parents are going to be coming to the Philippines for the first time this year. They are like really missing us. They're missing the kids so much. And obviously guys, we have a baby on the way. We're gonna have a baby this year. 
a new baby, three kids, under three. So my parents are gonna be coming over to meet the new baby boy for the first time. So I'm excited for that. Hopefully some of my friends can come out as well too and I can introduce them to the Philippines. Okay, so what have I covered? Culture, love the culture. I don't really think it was a culture shock. The biggest transition for me is where we're living. As you know guys, we went from a detached house, a three bedroom detached house with a garden, with like a playroom for the kids, loads of space, to a two bed condo. And we're paying the same price, right? But we're living amongst everything. We're living amongst all the restaurants. We're living in an amazing place. We get that. But one of the things that I'm really missing is a place that really feels like home. You guys, you know, if you've got your own house, there's just something about it. You know, when you have like space and a garden and just your own place to call home. I kind of feel like we're missing that right now. Cause guys, we're currently renting this condo unit and it just doesn't quite feel like home. We've definitely outgrown it. And all of our stuff from the UK is finally here in Manila. Like it's finally here. We've just hooked up with a storage company, thank God. We've got this storage company, Keeper Storage, that we're gonna be storing all of our stuff in. They have like helped us out last minute by finding us some space to put all our stuff because we have this huge shipping container and we can't fit anything in our condo. So guys, they're literally gonna store it all for us until we find a forever home. If you've watched our vlogs, we filmed like two vlogs. We toured Kaviti, the Gai Tai, we toured Alabang. We are still looking for a forever home. So I feel like until we find a place that we can call home, we can make it our own, have all our familiar furniture in there, you know, just like sitting on your couch, just like getting in your own bed, you know, like the smell of your like own stuff. Is that weird? It sounds a little weird, but just having all your things there, that is what I'm so just like missing right now. And I know that when we finally get this house and have more space to bring all our own furniture in, I'm going to really feel settled. So right now, five months in, we're still not really settled like we've said on the vlog before yeah we're kind of settled now we're used to it but guys the truth is we're not we're really not being in this condo it's kind of small and we've definitely outgrown it we really need our own place right now but but the silver lining is we are soon to get this place i have confidence guys we're viewing properties next week we're looking right now we have to be out of this unit soon like i think we just signed a six month lease so pretty soon we've, we're gonna have to leave and find a big house so overall the transition has gone really smoothly it could have gone so much worse it's gone really smoothly I think I'm grateful to just the whole of the Filipino community. I feel like we've really been welcomed. That's also one thing that goes through your mind before moving here is, you know, how are we going to integrate? This is new to me. Kim came here every single year, guys, when she was a kid growing up. She has like lived in this culture before. It's familiar to her. Her mum was born here. Her family all live here. So I think the transition for Kim has been much easier than it has for me. But with that being said, we are still both struggling with the fact that we just haven't quite found our forever home yet. But that's coming. I am confident. I really am confident that we will find one. One thing that's been a huge shock though is the price of properties. Oh wow, some of the properties out here are more than London. So you really have to be careful where you're looking. So I just think we wanna find the right area for us and then we're gonna be settled. All in all guys, the transition has been a good one. I highly recommend the Philippines to every single person I speak to. I've got friends who really wanna come out here and try it and come and experience living here. The systems are definitely different here, like things work so different compared to back home, but in terms of moving here and adjusting to the life, I think it's been kinda of cool, it's been quite an easy transition. Like I said, there's been things that haven't gone totally smooth and there's kind of a few things that you just have to like let go and accept for what they are here because things don't quite work the same way here as they do back in the UK like things they just don't work the same way right I feel like in order to transition and not go crazy out of my mind I have to just let things be and you know accept it for what it is embrace the culture because I really feel like the culture has embraced me if that makes sense Guys, that's it. I got some tips from Martin today, my good friend. Check him out, check his channel out. Martin is a good friend, and I'm really happy that I've reconnected with Martin. We share very similar interests. He's going through the exact same journey that we're going through right now. Properties. He has a Filipino wife. We both make content. He has a production company. It's, you know, he's just a nice guy. So check Martin out on here. Check him out on Instagram. 
Instagram. Tell him I said hi. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope it was insightful. Like I say, I've just laid everything on the line today about what our whole move has been like because I want to be truthful with you guys. I don't need to just think that we've got this beautiful life here. We're like so happy. You know, you just see what you see on Instagram. Yeah, we're very happy. You know, we'll find happiness wherever we are because we're there together. But also I want to be real with you guys. We're not at the stage right now that we really want to be, but we know the route and we know the path to get there. And I think that's a really important lesson that I've learned since moving here is, you know, we were fearless when we moved here and I'm grateful that we did move here. But and I think the key to anything is just having a place to call home. That's probably been the biggest transition is finding a forever home. So once we find that guys, we're gonna be flying. Okay guys, I'm gonna close out today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Guys, check us out on Patreon if you want more content. We post more over on Patreon. There's behind the scenes, there's tons of cool stuff over on there, lots of perks. And you also get your name in the credits, which I think is kind of cool. Subscribe, join the Keto family if you haven't already. And leave a like, guys, all that YouTube stuff. You know, like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> uh, remember, as we always say, in a world where you can be anything, remember, always be kind. You never know what the person next to you is going through. Big camera guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. See you soon. Bye.